check this out. Look at this. Sponge coral. It feels so cool. And there are so many hermit crabs on this island. It's ridiculous. <sighs> well, this is why we're camping. Let's see if we can find some hermit crabs, shall we? There we go. Can you spot it? Right here. He's gonna hide in there for a while. Look how much I found. Oh my god, let's just get a close up of this. So oh my cool. god. That's really pretty. And now, let's let the adventure begin. What are you doing? Just helping out and making a beautiful path for us to walk down the glass. Did you steal that broom from the Wicked Witch of the West? <laughs> I love witches. This bush is inconvenient. It just sits there. It's in the middle of nowhere. Right where our tent's going. Bulabanaka guys, and welcome back to another video. So excited about this one for a few days actually and I've been that excited about it that I've actu actually accidentally forgotten the batteries for the GoPro so I'm hoping I've got my fingers crossed that I can still do a decent enough video for you guys to help you escape the lockdown or whatever you're experiencing right now just with my phone I do have my phone I've got an old GoPro which I sometimes use underwater so this, the audio is crappy uh, on that one so we'll, we'll see what we can piece together with a phone an old GoPro uh, and, uh, and and bring it to you we've set up here on a tiny little remote island got our little tent over here let me show you in there My experience in that last video that I showed you guys was me just sleeping on the yoga mat, which was incredibly uncomfortable. Um, so got Morgan and Denver with me. They are on this awesome little blow up mattress. We did buy two of these thinking that we might be able to get them in side by side, but we can't. So the two girls will probably be in here. What do you think of your little home there? Pretty good. Pretty cozy? Yeah. Awesome. And then we got Sala and Peli. They are with us here as well. And they've got their own little tent here too. Sada and Pelly, we're still getting all this set up, so they'll be in there. Buller guys. How cool is this? So cool. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cook up. This is actually what uh, I believe in Fiji they call it tabu, this area, all the reef around here. Um, I do have the drone here, so in the morning when the light's good. Um, I'll put the drone up and I'll show you guys around here. It is like postcard, world-class, immaculate um, environment basically. Um, and tabu means, it's. I, I think it's when like the chiefs get together and they make a decision uh, to make this no fishing all the way around here. So there's no fishing, you can't, you can't even catch and release. Um, it's like a marine park I guess in uh, Australian sort of terms. Well, I'm going to have a salty sleep tonight. A salty sleep. <laughs> you too. No showers, yes. hey? And you guys have already been in. I so, think it's a good problem. So there's no there's no fishing here, so we're not gonna be doing any fishing here. Obviously we came here in the tinny. So we ah there's something that's stuck into my foot. Ooh, look at that. Nasty piece of work. Um so what we'll probably do, I don't know whether the girls will want to do it. You guys wanna go fishing early in the morning if we get in the tinny and go out of the tabu area? Or do you wanna hang here? Okay, so it might just be maybe me and Sala and me and Pelly. Uh, we'll probably go out somewhere fishing in the morning. Um, and wow, what is that? What the? Is that a 
skull? That's a jawbone. That is like, is that a pig? That's like a pig jawbone. Oh Let's hope they're not on this island. <laughs> Wild pigs on the tiny little island. Um, you know what? I can see remnants of Lobo. Somebody, somebody come out here for a bit of a, a bit of a shindig. Had the Lobo, put the pig in the Lobo, and uh, away they went. I feel much more relieved now that there's hopefully no pigs on this island because they're going to be like in our tent, like, oh, what's this? So, so it is a tiny little island, nice little flat grass area. And thank you so much to our friend, you know who you are, who let us stay on here. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Forever grateful. I'm just forever grateful for life. But to be able to experience this just on a... So it's Friday, girls had school today and I got them out of school and I got Beck. This is like a fair way from our house. So Beck drove along the main island to get to a point that's close here. And Pelly and I came all the way over here in the tinny. We're, we're saturated because it's a little bit blowy and a little bit choppy. Um, but uh, this is gonna be an epic couple of days. We're, we're probably staying here one night um, and we'll see how we go. And I'm excited to show you guys and hopefully do this place some justice. How's that for a picture frame? Nice little white sandy beach, nice reef there, palm tree, blue ocean, blue sky. And I reckon we're gonna have one killer sunset, ladies. Um, when I was swimming out there, I, I went on my belly and then I could just imagine the sunset behind me. <laughs> like in the movies? Oh yeah. My God. She's crazy. I know. Watch out! Freeze! How are you doing? Having a bath. It's so hot in here. What you feeding? Oh my god, that water is hot. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> there are so many little angel fish over there. Yeah? Did you go in with the other GoPro? Yep. Okay. Um, I just love these rocks. They're so pretty. A trusty little launch got us here <laughs> from all the way across the other side of the bay. In the distance Ding. of the shadows. So hopefully tomorrow morning, if this will be nice, I reckon we'll have a nice glass out tomorrow morning. Um, we drive the tinny out on high water, get out of the reef, out of the taboo area and uh, throw a few lures around. But look how pretty this is, guys. I love protected areas. Oh, we swim inside the caves and, well, just There's like here. a little cave in there full of fish. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I think I'm going to come fishing too. In the morning? Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> okay. <sighs> too blessed to be stressed, guys. Way too blessed to be stressed. I'm not stressed. Look at this place. You're not stressed? I'm not stressed. <laughs> She's not stressed. Sala, you ready for some grog? Some kava? Yeah, yes, we bought We bought some kava with us. And uh, we're going to sit down. We'll play some What's tunes. That? Drink some kava. What's and that? chill yeah. out. Kava? <laughs> Perfect. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. Got the sun heading behind the clouds now. The boat, the rocks, looking nice. I love these things. Hey guys, a couple of sundowners here in my, I don't even know what you call this thing, but it's courtesy of my mate Park Hill, thanks dude. Sent me this from Texas and I bloody love it. How comfy, too comfy. Sitting here, having a nice cold gin with my best friend, Sala. <laughs> and we're in for a good night. But who forgot the Uno cards? Yay! Me? Yeah. Um, I have to play like Hangman or something in the sand. Okay, Hangman in the sand. Hangman, Sounds lots good. of crosses. Yeah, Is your cool. finger in the lens? It looks like it from here. No, it's not. 
cool. Look at this sunset, guys. I think we're up for an absolute classic. The rays. Really? My towel, Denver. <laughs> what you got to say about being a towel swiper? <laughs> My towel. <laughs> That's <My> it. <laughs> Okay, so the funny part about this trip, guys, is I had a fair bit of stuff to do in town, running around, getting some stuff done, and Rebecca um, did half the packing, and I did half the packing, which is an absolute no-no. Um, because now here we are out on this island, and, you know, like I said, I forgot the, the GoPro batteries, um, and we're here trying to do a cook-up. We've got fish, and this is what, what weird thing about my wife. She packs, like, uh, things that you don't, like things that you think you normally would forget like you know mosquito coils and um, you know garbage bags and for some reason we got two gigantic salad bowls um, actually we got three salad bowls uh, which is the strangest thing ever um, but we have no frying pan uh, we have no oil or butter either um, and there's a pizza tray uh, I don't even know why I've got a pizza tray um, but we're yeah I don't know we're, we're just gonna scratch together what we can. I don't think it's gonna be the most amazing thing we've ever eaten, but she, it'll keep us alive. She, she probably just wanted to give us a challenge to do out here. Challenge, survival challenge. Yeah. Like mum gives random things and you gotta make it work. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're cooking on our pizza tray. Gotta say, it doesn't look all that flash. What's it taste like in a wrap? Five tastes out of okay. ten. Tastes okay? What are you saying? Five out of ten. It's not, it's okay. Oh, you're dark over here. I can't see you. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's five out of ten and it's okay. Actually, okay. I'll think it's a seven out of ten. Seven? I quite like it. Okay. But it's better with salt. And... <laughs> Camping over here. Good night, Morgs. We got Sala and Pelly here. <laughs> mother Sala, Mother Pelly. Mother, mother, mate. And then we've got Ariel in her mermaid tail, sleeping over here, full camping style. Good night, Denver. And then you've got me in this thing. So we'll see how we go. Well, good morning, guys. We made it through the night. A couple little hiccups. Morgan is now out here, and Denver is now in the tent because things happen with kids. Looks like it's going to be a cracking day. Can't really see much there. Um, I'm just going to zip out in the boat now and uh, have a quick fish and uh, and then come back and cook up some brekkie. Okay, so Sala and I are heading out fishing. I'll 
do the best I can to, to film some stuff. As I said, you know, without having the GoPros and stuff, it's going to be a little bit tough, but we'll see how we go with the phone and the old GoPro um, and do the best we can to film some action. Hopefully we can get Sala hooked up onto something big. Turn it, turn it around. Face that way. Yellow fin. We got yellow fin tuna. Yeah. You lost it? Got it. You still got it? <laughs> oh, you lost it. Yeah. Ah. All right, we'll keep going. So we just had a double hookup of yellowfin tuna. Unfortunately, because it was double, it was a bit of a bit of chaos, and I couldn't give Sala a hand with hers because mine was going crazy, and ended up landing mine, but she lost hers. But we got bird activity all around. There's been fish jumping, and the little tinny looks like a horror movie. What do you reckon, Sala? <laughs> Pulling hard? Pulling hard, let the fish go. I'm so angry. We'll get another one. Well, guys, what an epic morning. Devastated we don't have the GoPro and the batteries and all that. Hopefully, I got some sort of footage of this. I can't even remember, the whole thing was a blur. Sala and I were, obviously went out fishing, did a little bit of trawling around out past those fishing boats and um, you know nothing much was happening and then I saw tuna busting everywhere about a kilometer away maybe so I just hammered it over there the second we got there double hook up on a couple of yellowfin or I think the yellowfin or big eye yellowfin I think and uh, unfortunately Sala um, needed my help um, and I was fighting this one and so we ended up losing one but we got one and look at that that is a bloody awesome fish so we are gonna have sushimi we are gonna have yellowfin tuna steaks and we are winning <laughs>
started going to explore around the island in the caves and that on the low tide with the rock pools and we'll take you guys with us. Cool, let's go. How pretty. Yeah, I love the rocks with the green on them. Looks I love cool, that. It? Wait, look at that little tree. Like you. Hanging on for dear life up the top there. <laughs> yeah. One thing we have plenty of here in Fiji are these beautiful electric blue starfish. So or sea stars as they're properly called. Yeah. Here, I'll show you them. Look at that. Look at the colour. See their stomachs? They're so big and pretty. Oh yeah, you want a close-up? And the other things we have are these little ones here. Denver takes those things out and puts them on her arm. Ew, and they crawl up her arm. Something big in the rock pool over here was just splashing. I think it just jumped from one to the other. It might be an octopus. Manta shrimp, just zipping around. Crab, Mr. Crab down here. Hello, mate. You think I can't see you? <laughs> Probably. He's just Check out this shell. We'll let him. Pretty. Nice. I'll just give it to the crab. <laughs> All right. Usually, when you get a rock or something like this, you can find an eel Whoa. in these low pools. I so you got to sneak up slow. Look at all the fish sitting in the shade. Oh my god! Is there, is there like a dory there, like the blue with the yellow? Yeah, the reef fish. Yeah. Finding dory. We've already done it. You can go home. Clock off. Dory found. Wow. So pretty. So what jumped out of the rock pool into it's a the mystery. Yeah, it is a mystery. It was in there and it oh, there, there's an eel. And that's the one that I saw, that's the same colour. Wow. Oh my god. Where did it go? In a hole. Skewing. Oh, oh, here he comes, look. There he is. Hmm. <laughs> That is so oh, there's two. two of them! Oh my god. Oh, don't go near me, please. Oh, oh. Look at the colours, man. Oh, man, they're lightning How fast. How fast are they? Lightning fast. It's like a speed of light, those guys. Here is the coolest little crab I've ever seen. Pretty cute. Look nope. at the colours. Hey, hey, buddy. You're gonna. <laughs> you almost crawled under me flip flop. Look at it, man. I love the purple claws. Oh, Whoa. another eel. Oh, it's a black sea snake. No, it's not a snake, it's an eel. Sure? Yeah. It's an eel. Hey, you look right here. Whoa. That, that guy's really thick. He's a big one. Yeah. Dark in colour. Oh my god, I'm backing off. Scary. Oh my god, so many eels on this reef. I know why they call them eels. Because the first person who ever saw one went, Ew! <laughs> Probably. That guy 
I always be able to see in the tree. Got Probably some little ever. sprats in there. I wish that this is like an underwater world. I want to live there. So how was it guys? It was good. Oh. Good, Pelly? Yeah. Very good. Very, very good, very how, good. What was it like with that tuna pulling on the rod, Sala? <laughs> Strong? Strong and very hard. Very hard. And <laughs> after that, I um, feel sorry, I feel bad. You feel bad? Yeah, because the fish gone. Because it got away? Yeah. yeah. That happens, yeah. that happens sometimes. But we have had a bloody awesome couple of days here. Um, we'll definitely organise it to come back. We'll, you know, drop drop a comment if you think Rebecca should come with us. Yeah. I think she should come with us. Now, there's a funny story. When Beck and I met, you know, you, you start to talk about the things that you like, see if you've got things in common and so forth. And, you know, I'm a nature boy. I love the beach, love the ocean, love camping, all of that sort of stuff. And she's like, yeah, 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 I love the beach. I love the beach. I love, I love camping. Um, and it turns out her idea of camping is like the Four Seasons or the Bellagio and she hates the beach. She likes looking at it from a distance, like maybe in a mansion <laughs> or something like that. But actually uh, being on the beach isn't her thing. So she sat home last night watching like tragic movies, probably chick like flicks. chick flicks, like Legally Blonde 2 and <laughs> Miss Congeniality and all these Devil Wear Prada crap. And we had an absolute blast. So drop a comment if you think we should bring Rebecca on the next trip and if you want me to get a tent because um yeah i was pretty sad last night because my sister saw the bed yeah. your sister kicked you out of your own tent no really devoed mm -hmm. all right so we're going to wrap up here on this little island we've packed everything up we've got another 15 minutes or so for the tide to get to where it needs to be so we can drift off of here um, I'm going to see you guys back at the house. We're going to get some wasabi. We're going to get some soy sauce. We're going to chop that little sucker up Great. and do some sashimi, oh. yellowfin sashimi. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone wants to say hi. Uh, Who wants to say hi? He wants to say hi or bye. Bye. Is he gone? He's gone in. There he is. <laughs> and of course he tries to bit bite me. See you back at home guys. Okay, so obviously we have now made it back. We've filled up that uh, yellow fin and we've cut some pieces of sashimi here. Now the only people that eat the sashimi is uh, Denver and me. Rebecca doesn't like it. Although same as the camping and the beach, like she lied to me to woo me when we were young. She probably said, oh, you know, I love sashimi as well. Uh, but she doesn't really. She's behind the camera too. Yeah, I'm listening. But this, my mouth's salivating slightly. How about you? So what have you got here? So we've got some wasabi and we've got some soy sauce. And I did get forks, but I usually just go fingers. Yeah. All right. Just grab Give a us little piece verdict. like this. Actually, you just go straight for the soy. I actually put a bit of wasabi on. Wasabi is the best. And I sort of... So we'll just wrap it up. You need a tiny bit, Denver. Yeah, I'm just putting that much in. Tiny little bit like that. So it's sort of like wrapped in there. 
and then we dip it in a bit of soy, and then in the gob. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good, man. Mm. It just melts in your mouth, just falls apart. So we have entree yellowfin sashimi, and the main tonight is yellowfin tuna steaks. Big thick ones, I've cut them like this thick, where you just sear the outside, the inside's nice and rare. Oh. So, come over here, Morks. How was the camping trip, girls? It was awesome. It was good, yeah. It was awesome. Little tent works all right? Yep, mm -hmm. handy. Cool, so we've got to get another one to make it all good. Mm -hmm. And then that way one of you and mum can sleep in one, and me and the other one of you sleep in the other. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up or drop a comment or even subscribe if you want to. Obviously you don't have to, but we love it. We love seeing it. We love seeing where we're reaching all over the world with this stuff. And we have so much exciting stuff up our sleeve. Um, Fiji is a challenging place to get things done. And we've been working on something for like a year now, which is like this close. And I know I keep saying it. Um, and I just had a negative phone call about that little project. <laughs> but I've got my fingers crossed that within the next seven days, um, we're gonna have that together and I'm gonna bring you guys a video around all of that. So, see you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs>